Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the cases of S matrix of H plane T junction. Okay. In the previous video, we have calculated the S parameters of H plane T junction like S11, S12, S13 and S22. Four different parameters we have calculated and designed the S matrix parameters. S matrix. Now, let us see what happens when input is applied at port 1 and what happens when input is applied at port 2. Okay. So, let us recall the H plane T junction which is having a three ports, first port, second port and third port. Third port is known as H port or H arm or side arm. Okay. And what is the scattering matrix of H plane T junction? Yes, matrix of H plane T junction is S is equal to 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 1 by root 2 minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by root 2 and again 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 and it is 0. This is the scattering matrix parameters of the H plane D junction which we have calculated in the previous video. We know that S is equal to B by A or we can write it as B is equal to S into A. If suppose if it is in the form of matrix we can write it as square matrix of B is equal to square matrix of S into square matrix of A. Okay, how many ports are there for this H plane D junction? Three ports are there. So A1, A2, A3 and B1, B2, B3. What A represents? A represents incident wave. What B represents? B represents reflected wave. Remember all these points. I am keep on saying from the beginning of this uh, uh, magic T junctions. Uh, what is this? Uh, sorry, uh, microwave T junctions. So remember all these common points. So you can write it as B1, B2. B3 as a column matrix, okay, 3 by 1 matrix is equal to, now, S matrix is a 3 by 3 size, what we have written same, we need to write here, 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, and again, minus 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, and it is 0. Now, multiply this S matrix with A1, A2, A3. Three ports, three incident waves. Okay. So, 3 by 3 matrix multiplied by a 3 by 1 matrix. So, result is again 3 by 1 matrix. Now, if you write the equations, multiply this S matrix with A matrix and uh, equate it to the three uh, output uh, what is that reflected waves like B1 equal to some equation we will get B2 equal to equation B3 equal to one equation we will get so that is B1 is equal to 1 by 2 A1 minus 1 by 2 A2 plus 1 by root 2 A3 okay see here 1 by 2 into A1 minus 1 by 2 into A2 plus 1 by root 2 into A3. So, in this way we will write, we are writing the equations. This equation let us consider it as 1. Similarly, Bt is equal to minus 1 by 2 A1 minus 1 by 2 A2 second line 1 minus 1 by 2 A1 plus 1 by 2 A2 <coughs> 1 by 2 A2 plus 1 by root 2 A3 is equal to uh, this is second equation and B3 is equal to 1 by root 2 A1 plus again 1 by root 2 A3 A2 A2 this is the equation number 3 ok now let us start the cases ok Case 1, case 1, input is given, 
input is given at port 3 input is given at port 3 and no inputs at port 1 and 2 and no inputs are given at port 1 and 2 see this is the h plane disjunction representation port 1 this is port 2 and this is port 3 where the input is applied input is applied at port 3 so this is now acting as input port and no incident wave here and no incident wave at this particular port 1 and 2 okay now incident wave a what is a1 a1 is the incident wave at the first port a2 is the incident wave at second port a3 is incident wave at third port now a3 is existed a1 a2 are not existed because we are not applying anything from the port 1 and port 2 so what we can write it as a3 is a non zero value and a1 is equal to a2 is equal to simply zero because we are not applying at port 1 and port 2 we are not applying anything at port 1 and port 2 so simply it is zero okay so from equation substitute these values in equation 1 2 3 then what are the reflected signals so b1 now b1 is equal to a1 equal to a2 equal to 0 first two values are 0 the last one is there so 1 by root 2 a3 <laughs> and b2 is equal to what is b2 1 by root 2 a3 and what is b3 b3 is equal to 0 because a1 a2 are not existed so simply that b3 is gone see when power is what is the conclusion for this one when power is applied at third port when power is applied at third port the power will be going to the first port and as well as to the second port as a3 by root 2 a3 is nothing but the incident power at third port we can write it as a3 this is the a3 okay this a3 goes to this port as a3 by root 2 and here it is also a3 by root 2 what do you mean by root 2 1 by root 2 3 db power what do you mean by 1 by root 2 3 db power so we can say this as <coughs> 3 db splitter the h plane disjunction is also acting like a 3 db splitter the input power has been split into port 1 and 2 as a 3 db powers so that's why h plane t junction is also known as a 3 db splitter okay i will write here the power coming out of the ports 1 and 2 is 3 db down with respect to input power with respect to input power at port 3 hence the h plane disjunction is called hence h plane <coughs> t junction is called 3 db splitter remember this name h plane t junction is called 3 db splitter now coming to the second case coming to the second case uh hmm. what is the second case now input is given input is given 
at port 1 and 2 and no input at port 3 no input at port 3 so we are taking a common input like a1 is equal to a2 is equal to some a and a3 what is a3 in this case a3 equal to 0 no power incident at port 3 see here input is applied here as a and again here also input is applied at a as a this is the port 2 this is port 1 and this is port 3 and no input is there here no input is there so what is the amount of power coming out from this port 3 now what is the amount of power coming out from the port 3 now apply the conditions in b1 b2 b3 so from equations 1 2 3 equations b1 is equal to a1 is equal to at equal to a go back to that equation a1 is equal to at equal to a so 1 by 2 a1 a minus 1 by 2 a here it is 1 by 2 a minus 1 by 2 a what it is 0 and b2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 a1 it is minus 1 by 2 a1 plus 1 by 2 a2 so it is minus 1 by 2 a plus 1 by 2 a this is also minus 1 by 2 a plus 1 by 2 a this is also 0 and what about b3 b3 now it is given as see here 1 by root 2 a plus 1 by root 2 a a by root 2 plus a by root 2 <coughs> you no need to simplify okay here our aim is not to simplify the values our aim is to find the statement okay what is the input and what is the output see here so input is applied at port 3 that gives the input at port 3 is the addition of the two input ports port 1 and port 2 and these are added in phase see they are having equal phase whatever the power we are giving here the power by root 2 that is coming from this way and that power by root 2 that is coming in this way and these two are added up here at the junction and coming out from this third port okay so input at port 3 that means coming out the power we can write it as output output from port 3 we can write it as output instead of input output at port 3 is the addition of the two inputs at port 1 and port and these are added in phase these are added in in phase these are added in phase in h plane d junction this point is important the power at input port 1 and at input port 2 these two are added in phase but whereas in the uh, next coming e plane d junction they are out of phase okay these are in phase this is about the H-plane dejunction and their operation with example cases. Thank you.